on you guys? My name is Rage and we are back to unpack today uh, the upcoming event here for the unlock of Darkhawk uh, for this fight or flight event. So uh, it is going to be the next Blitz event that we're going to be utilizing here in addition uh, to the spending of power cores. And there's some pretty good rewards here, but overall very, very free to play friendly. We were able to deep, uh, deep dive this in terms of the analysis of what calculations are going to look like as well as what milestones are going to be realistically possible especially if you're free to play this is going to be a super feasible event so uh, in case you guys are interested hit the eye for additional details it gives us a high level overview it is a seven day event um, by earning these celestial talent or fragments um, from winning blitz battles so keep in mind um if in case you're uh, you've seen the other past events where you have to partake in blitz you do need to win in order to get these fragments um on top of that the spending of power cores will also add to this and there is going uh there is a web milestone tied to this event as well um through the earning of alliance credit so something to be on the watch for uh, this is going to be adding a pretty notable amount of portion for points here um being allocated for this event but again like i said uh super super free to play friendly and we likely won't need to do too much to get this uh for as long lock especially uh, if you guys are planning to bring this team up for the incursion raids um in the tech node specifically so we had preview here we get the additional details here and just to showcase for you how the scoring is done again the celestial talent or fragments only add up to one point so obviously uh, this is going to add up over time from blitzing and getting those wins and then lastly the spending of power core each one adding uh, a total of 10 points per power core so uh, before I, I, I show you guys the math and calculations, so let me just showcase for you some of the milestones that you want to be gunning for, right? Um, you know, a big one is definitely milestone 10 and 11, just because 10 has the final um, Dark Hawk shards here, unless you're planning to push higher. There's five shards there and there's five shards here, right? And him being a 100 shard on unlock, we're going to be needing every shard we can get. But milestone 11 is also very notable because we have this fanged anklet. And keep in mind, this is the fanged anklet that gets added into the monthly events uh, worth a very, very significant amount of points. Uh, so obviously you want this to be adding to the month long uh, the festivities uh, beyond that though there are a couple targets too uh, we got the seven red kestrel here uh, even for myself i haven't got that unlocked yet so this is going to be a huge addition especially uh if you, you know kestrel is really um you know the bread and butter of the pegasus team uh, with iron man infinity war but as well uh being able to be a viable character for dark dimension six this is a huge value add uh she's all she's also one of the uh, featured unlock characters that you need to actually uh, unlock apocalypse too so you definitely need her um she has immense value and getting that seven reds is just gonna be icing on the cake uh, One hundred thirty-three thousand points at milestone 15 is another good one too because this is beyond that extension point where you can get additional uh shards of dark hawk which is absolutely beautiful uh and then anything after that is going to be a little bit more grindy um this milestone 18 uh with the 20 shards of dark hawk it's definitely possible but i think you do need to core more on top of that uh also being able to blitz um the eight rotation so those are kind of the uh, the highlights here of the milestones that we should be getting for. Now, what's feasible and what it should be the target that we're aiming for? Let's take a look at this. So I've kind of broken this out into a couple of scenarios here for the different blitz rotations that you see in columns here, but as well showcasing again um, the points that you're going to be getting. So you can see here, um, assuming that you're going to be doing about 50 wins per rotation, uh, and again, a rotation is essentially going through your entire Blitz team and getting those wins. We're going to assume that you can win 50 times. Um, and again, these numbers are conservative, so they can obviously be higher. At three rotations with 50 wins, that's going to get you 52,500 points. If you're spending about 200 cores per day, and again, that's gonna be anything through isolate energy or campaign you wanna refresh. I personally would recommend campaign energy just because then you can farm uh, more nodes for gold or training fragments. Um, that's 200, which adds 14,000 um, for the seven days that this event is live for. And then lastly, we also have the web milestone here, uh, adding another notable 14K um, through the earning of 700 Alliance credits per day. Uh, for three blitz rotations, that's gonna give you 80,500 points, which equates to a three star unlock of dark hawk assuming there's about two and a half shards per orb uh, for six rotations that's going to get you close to a four star at 133,000 points and then lastly if you're doing the full eight on rotations which is the max number of rotations you can do through the blitz event um, you're going to get close to 170,000. and again these numbers are conservative they can be higher it doesn't factor in the free claim um, that likely will be adding uh, some slight number upticks here and again if you're spending more power cores than the 200 per day uh, for sure 
your numbers will be higher. So uh, in doing so, there's a couple of targets that now we can um, fully aim for, right? At the milestone 11 mark, again, 76,000 points for the Fang Anklet. You're going to easily hit this even doing three rotations if you just want to have a chill event. So honestly, um, it's a great way to sit back. But as well, let's not forget that there's some additional fragments of Dark Hog not too far away. Personally, I think a really good one to aim for is milestone 14, as I touched on earlier, because um, having that seven red Kestrel is like really, really good value. And again, you're not going to be needing to do too much. 114,000 uh, points would be between, you know, roughly four to five rotations per day, which is quite feasible, right? You don't need to do the full six if you don't feel like that, because six rotations will get you 133,000. So anywhere between that four and five mark, I think is going to get you there, uh, especially if you spend more power cores than the 200 per day. Um, if you're hoping to do uh, the 133,000 points, that is going to get you that 10 extra Dark Hawk shards as well at milestone 15 so another good target if you just want to add that extra um juice to the shards for dark hawk being that meta tech rate team um but it's going to probably get you close to that four star unlock here um just to be safe at that six rotation mark if you just do decide to go beyond that and you want to maximize the eight rotations it's going to get you very close to a four and a half star uh, honestly with some rmj maybe even a five star right but i'm going to be conservative here for my analysis but yeah that's uh that's the overview right there guys um milestone 14 15 and 17 are all realistic uh, i'm probably gonna see if i can go for the 10 extra dark hawk shards at milestone 15 just because i do like those extra shards but again uh if i don't get it it's not the end of the world i'll see if i need to spend a few more power cores if need be just because i've saved up a little bit um but if we're close to that four star that'd be really really nice to get obviously and if i already hit that four star with the rng of orbs then i might just pause there to be honest so uh there you guys have it hope this helps you guys navigate in terms of how many rotations you'll be doing but this pretty simple and clean event uh for a character that's gonna be a notable addition to this pegasus race team and again uh, very very free to play event we don't need to spend or anything like that but obviously at the end of the day if you want to push higher with that uh, by all means right i do hope this helped you guys thank you as always and i'll catch you guys in the next one